In the modeling area, you create and edit models. You have various options to open this area. To create a new model, click on a model type in Home. Use the menu to open an existing model. In Windows Explorer, you can double-click on a model file. Model files have the ADF file extension. ADF means RS Document Format. You can also use the recently used models list to open an existing model. If the modeling area is active, the Home button is available. You can use it to switch back to the Home area. If you open another model, the program switches back to the modeling area and displays the model. The Models button allows you to switch from Home to the modeling area. You can also activate an open model directly, open the Windows menu and click on the name of the model. Some panes are already displayed in the modeling area, more are available. Paints make modeling easier. They provide you with information on models and model items. The model overview helps you to conveniently navigate in large models. The frame indicates which part of the model is visible. If you zoom in or out the model, the size of the frame changes. You can move the frame to display a different part of the model. The Attributes pane provides you with information on the model and model items. It also allows you to change attributes, such as the names of objects. You can search for an object by entering part of its name. Text that matches your search is highlighted in the Model window and in the Attributes pane. If you change the name and press Enter, the name of the object is also updated in the Model window. You can place attributes directly in the model window. For example, you can place the object type simply by using drag and drop. The symbols pane displays objects that you can place in the model window. Its content depends on the model type. Models of the business process type, for example, have different objects than models of the organizational chart type. The Fragments pane displays groups of items that you can insert into the model. You can create your own fragments. You will learn how to do this in another video. The content of the Fragments pane also depends on the model type. If you switch from the Organizational Chart to the Business Process model, the content of the Fragments pane changes. You are now familiar with the modeling area and you have learned how to switch to the home area and how to activate open models.